I'm Maureen Connolly, the Editor-in-Chief of EverydayHealth.com, and this is Boxed In, a mental health series for these challenging times. Our society is suffering, our world is suffering terribly. It's very traumatic to lose a family member, and on top of that, you've got the pandemic. Our levels of uncertainty are higher than they've ever been in recent history. I have been living with anxiety for most of my life. You know, the worry is centered in something real, like we're not... <laughs> This is not a made up thing that's in someone's mind. This is really happening right now. It can be hard to figure out exactly where the line is between reasonable anxiety and pathological anxiety. When we get depressed or anxious or overwhelmed, we start to isolate. We start to shut down and that's what we don't need. The more that can be done to enhance the emotional health of people right now and the coping skills, the better we will all be. Moving your body, doing yoga, walking. Walking is big. What are some things I can do when I wake up at, in the middle of the night and can't fall back asleep? When it comes to relationships, the number one thing we can do with our loved ones is to tell them that we're suffering and that we need them. Right now, what we're going through is an existential crisis. And we are gonna come out of it in some ways stronger and we're gonna grow. We are all in this together.